All righty. Would anybody like the magic pen to draw their picture? Yeah. I know. I got to turn it on first. Okay, everyone. I introduce my lovely and talented oh, oh, assistant, oh. Gersa. I thought you were going to draw me. I no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do it. Jidu's going to do it. That could have been easy. No, Jidu says he's going to do it. What you got, brother? Go. Which one am I doing? You're doing number one. You got to draw oh. the picture. Give me a J. Uh, give me an I. Give me a G. Oh, you are an R. Give me a small D. How is Give this me a J? U. Oh, I was, my leg was curved. J. No. No, I, I, I wrecked a pair of Converse doing a J for somebody once because I went up on my toes and I... Yeah, they broke. Nice. Close enough. There. Means a lot, man. Is it weird that I've done that? No, 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 no. See, you're doing it algebraically. It's like ten. That's what I want you to do later. But first, I wanted you to draw the picture. This is right. Don't get me wrong. But first, I wanted the picture. Yeah, the squares and stuff. Do you want to back up? Oh, you just turn it over like a regular eraser. It's badass, hey? Okay, so X is like, is it the rectangles? Yeah, we need the rectangles. I guess negative, so. Okay. Then what do you have to do once you've got them all drawn? You got to do what with them? Don't you like what about the do this? Yeah, but you got to make the rectangle first. You do. You don't have a rectangle there. You want a rectangle? You don't have a rectangle there. Uh, that's okay. Anybody else want to try? Jazreet wants to try. Huh? No. Because it's wrong. Yeah, go, Jazreet. All right. Jacqueline's going to try. Everybody thinks it's so easy. No, to draw on the screen. I'm going to stop you there. I'm stopping you there. All right. Since now I am running out of people, since everybody's as I've looked at, no. 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 Yours is right. Yours is kind of right. Juana? Okay, you're doing the next drawing. So I just draw what I drew on my thing? Yeah, of course you do. Okay. Okay, how did I draw it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just drawing circles because... Yeah, I just do circles. It's fine. Everybody knows what it is. And now, what are the factors? Boop, boop, boop. Wait, no, oopsie. You're, you're so close. Boop, boop, and then I'm drawing on top of the words. Yep, yeah, that's cool. But wait, then these have to be negative. Look at you. You should feel faint more often. You kick ass in math. That is exactly right. 
like daily. I know. This is not even a surprise. That is beautiful. Well done, Emma. Now, it also says write out the factors. Where do the factors live here? Are they the middle of the rectangle or are they on the sides? Well, then you should probably pay attention right now because it's kind of important. Is the middle the factors or are the sides the factors? The sides, what do you see here? He waited patiently. Two times, what do you see here? 2x, what kind of three? Negative three. Negative three. Well done, Emma. This one, What? what is it? Somebody tell me the GCF. You don't have to tell me the answers. Tell me the GCF. Addison, hit me. 3x. 3x. Close. Y. Y. Why does he need one Y? Because Y, Y, Y. Now we write the actual answer. 3xy is first, and then all of these quotients. What is this one? 3x. Plus, what is this one? 5y. Then what? What kind of 6? Negative 6. X cubed. Y to the 4th. Done. Sweet. In the 80s, pink and green were two colors that people liked to put together. I don't know why. I know. What's the GCF here? Everybody does this one wrong. 22 is the GCF. And what letter? How many of them? Two. So we write 22x squared and then we write the answers. What's this one? X plus what's this one? 3y. Nice. Pardeep, since you did that so well, you can choose the next color. Um, brown. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> That's what you guys say every time I say any color. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, you do. Not you personally. I mean kids in general. No. <laughs> What's the GCF? This one's tricky. Eight. Any letters? How many C's? Just the one. What's this answer? Three C squared. What's this answer? 2d squared. What's this answer? Plus 7cd. Cd to the fourth. What's this one? Oh, wait. Addison, you got that right. You choose the next color. Red? Yellow. Oh. No, yellow comes up pretty well. What is the GCF? Five. Five. Any letters? No. No. So five, and then what's the first one? This is tricky. One. One. You need that. Five divided by five is one. Then what? Jacqueline. Negative two Z. Then what? Minus three Z squared. Minus three Z squared. Now, uh, Jaden, you gave me the last right answer. You pick the next color. I'll get it. Can I? Oh, no. I for Myers. I do indeed. Self-mount here. I will do. Thank you. Jacqueline. Your mom's here. Dun, dun, dun. It's her mom, dude. It's not the office. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to call her what? 
<laughs> I was much more scared of my mom than I ever was of the principal. I would get sent to the principal all the time in high school. And the principal was always like, do I have to call your mom? No. Do anything but call my mom. I will clean the toilets. I will scrub the stairs with a toothbrush. Huh? No, of course not. I'm a kid. They're not going to make you clean toilets. You're a kid. You can get sick. But not for punishment. At school, you haven't. So at any rate, there was no way I would have done anything to avoid my principal calling my mom. Because I don't know about you guys, but my mom's is a bad ass. Oh, my dad had nothing on my mom. My mom used to say, you wait till your dad gets home. I'm like, dad's going to come home and smack me. I'll get over that. It'll hurt for two seconds. And then I'll be like, huh. Only two seconds? I wasn't a wuss. Are you serious? Now, my mom, though, I don't know about your moms, but my mom was a master of the psychological warfare. And you don't come back from that. That I'm messes not, you up. I'm not mad, just disappointed. What? <laughs> I was a bad kid. Bad stuff. Like stuff. All right. Uh, what was the color we were going with, Jaden? <laughs> Wise ass, hey? Wait. Okay. What's the GCF? So what do I write out first? Three. Bracket. What's the first one? What's the second one? Wait. I can't see it. Oh! Oh! I still can't see it. <laughs> All right, and this one. Huh? Yes, Amo, you may pick the color. Light black. Light black, so gray. What's your recording time, Amo? No, I don't know. We need to go back. What's the GCF? For what? 4D. What's this? Stop it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Carmen Smith Molina. Thank you. Thank you very much. She'll be appearing here till the end of this block. All right. Now, tricky because there's no numbers, but does anything change? No. No. What is common here? N. Pi. Or pi. What is it? N. Pi. <laughs> is anything else common? Uh, R. 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 Yeah. So what goes to the front? <laughs> pi R. What's this one? R. R. Plus R. S. S. Okay. Now take that knowledge. This is surface area. Surface area equals pi times R, times R plus S. Well, what's R? Read the question. Five. So five R, R plus S. What is R plus S? You don't know what five plus two is? Seven. Well, that's because you look back there and you go, instead of doing work. See, when you pay attention to the front and you don't go, looking away from the board, you don't ever have to say you're so confused because all the crap's right there in front of you. Now, what is five times seven? I don't know. I'm aware that a great many of you do not know what five times seven is, but that is not my problem. 35 pi. And that is your final answer. Well, you did have to do 5 plus 7 right there. R plus S. 7. Oh, you have no idea, Emma, how often I ask for addition questions like 5 plus 2 and I hear silence. 
I got lots of video for it. When I retire, I'm going to make a compilation of all those YouTube videos of every time I ask a question like, what is zero minus one? And I hear dead silence. People are scared that they're going to do the wrong answer for zero minus one. And they're in the 11th grade. Okay. Yeah, but I have 11th graders that don't get that question right. Pardon me? No. All right. Uh, I am going to stop today, and I'm going to do the following. I'm going to write right now six questions that are quiz level for tomorrow. If you don't wish to do them, don't. But then don't complain if you bomb the quiz tomorrow. You could write them anywhere you want. I see some white space on your paper. You could write them on the inside of the front cover. You could write it on your own paper. You could not write it down at all. You could just think about the answer and watch the video later that's going to have it done. Whatever you want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here's what I'm going to do. There are five questions that will be on the quiz tomorrow. Some, it's being recorded, Addison. But okay, whatever you need, brother. At any rate, after the bell rings, I will finish this recording with all of these done. And that will be the end of the recording. If you, if you care, you'll go home, you'll try these six quest, five questions, and then you'll pause the recording, then you'll check your answers. Will you like, like, now will you just, like, write it down? I will speak of it as I am writing, as if I were teaching it to you. Because, Emma, I know a great many of you do not think so, but this is my life. And the reason I do this is because I like doing it. When did you decide to be a math teacher? I didn't decide to be a math teacher. I decided to be a teacher. When did you decide to be a teacher? The ninth grade. Do you really want to hear? Yes. All right. When I was in the ninth grade... Um, we, we had a class called guidance. Guidance was what you people call planning or whatever it's called now. I don't even know. Careers. Careers. Sure. But ours was called guidance. And when we did guidance, it wasn't just career stuff. Oops. It was like, uh, body. It was sex ed. It was careers. It was. Uh, making good decisions. It was the drug class. It was all that stuff, right? Yeah. And when we were in grade nine, uh, they gave us a hundred 
multiple choice question test because in grade nine, in 1989, things like computers were really hip and cool. So we filled out this 100 question test and then it, they fed it into a computer and that computer spit out a list of 50 careers that we would that matched our responses to the questions. So for me, I had number one was air traffic controller. Number two was horticulturalist. No, growing plants. Now, if I'd known in 1989 that Canada would have made dope legal, I might have learned to be a horticulturalist. My third choice was teacher. I was in my social studies nine class talking to a young lady on whom I had a gigantic crush. She was asking me what came up on my career thing. And I was hoping that some of her top 10 would be like mine so I could use that as a beginning of a conversation. Because unlike all of you, I don't throw rocks at girls I like. I actually go and talk to them. Uh, I talk so to them. I was talking to Kelly and my teacher who had recently gotten his doctorate in education and who later in life became the head of all the education faculty at UBC, a very important man in the education field. He was my grade nine socials teacher. He heard me talking and he said, when I got the teacher, Matthew, and I said, yes, Dr. Satius. And he said, I think that you would make a very good teacher which was made me very happy because in the ninth grade, I wanted to be a neurosurgeon. And my science nine teacher, whom I love, one of my favorite teachers ever, looked at me and said, you will never become a neurosurgeon. I was like, Mr. Hawkins, why you be that way? And he was like, you're too lazy. And I was like, fair play, Mr. Hawkins, you're right. So from grade nine, no, other way around, my grade, Nine teacher told me I would never be a, a, a neurosurgeon. And it was later in grade nine that Mr. Satius, at the time Dr. Satius, said I would make a good teacher. So I started to pursue it in the ninth grade. Done. Not really. Yes. If you must. The microphone's right there. Hi, YouTube. Here, why don't we do this so I can actually do my work? <laughs> there you go. So, of course, you um, would do first, which is x squared. Then you would do that one, which is negative 3x. Alyssa, would you like to say Then you would do this one, which is positive 2x. And you can see I keep them together because I want them to be like terms. And then I do this one, which is negative 6. Then I add it up to get x squared. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative x. And 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Now, of course, that is the exact same method for doing the second question. Because the second question is, again, a binomial times a binomial. So, of course, we take the first one. 2x to the fourth. Then we take the second one. Minus 16x squared. Then the third one. Plus 4x squared. And then the last one. Minus 32. I stack them up to keep them together, and my answer is 2x to the 4th.
minus 12x squared minus 32. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I know that you all feel you have finished your work. Of course you have not because I put more on the board. I know you all feel it is appropriate to be standing at the door waiting to leave five minutes before the end of class. Of course it is not. I recommend you all take this idea to all your future jobs when you are five to ten minutes before the end of the job. Get up, stop working and try to leave. See how long you stay at that job. And lastly, if you are going to do something that is that un, uh, that bad of an idea, at least do it in such a way that you are not pissing off the other rooms in the school where they are doing what they are supposed to be doing until the bell rings. Because you're stuck with me until the end of January. And it's only October. And the more you piss me off now, the longer the semester's going to be. Okay? He okay. said, smiley like. Oh, yes, man. Oh, yes, man. Now, this one, of course, you're going to have to do three times. X cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x. Then you're going to do this one, plus 2x squared minus 6x, and I'm keeping my x's and my x squareds together again, plus 14. Then I am going to add them up, x cubed minus x squared plus 1x plus 14. And lastly, you of course will remember that this squared means x minus 3y times x minus 3y, which, since we've done it four times on this page already, like all math, you just follow what you know how to do x squared minus 3xy minus 3xy plus, because 3, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9y squared. Then you add it up to get x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. And lastly, I wanted this factored, so you decide on your GCF, which is, of course, 16, x, 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 3, 3, 5, x cubed, y, 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 2, 2, 5, y squared. Then you divide everything by that figure. You write the GCF at the front, 16x cubed y squared, bracket, and all your answers, 1 minus 2y cubed plus 3x squared, and then you're done.